On page 27, I have Jamel Demons. That's not Mr. Demons. Sure. Judge, who did you call? Demons. Oh, sir, you can take a seat. Mr. Demons, come on up. Your private attorney's right there. Judge, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Judge, Mitch Pillay on uh, behalf of Mr. Demons. I'll be filing a notice of appearance along with Bradford Cohn on this case uh, you know, sometime this week. Okay. And uh, as the court knows, it, it, it's a murder one. So we're going to um, ask that um, his rights be invoked and that no police agent uh, and or detective or police officer may contact with uh, Mr. Demons at this time. Okay, don't speak to anyone. You understand that? Mr. Demons, you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, Good morning, Eric. Good morning. Christine Bradley on behalf of the state. I have given to your honor, but specifically not to defense counsel, to preserve any rights of some of the co-defendants charged and uncharged at this point for your honor to review to find and finding of proof evident presumption great as well as probable cause that will be provided to defense counsel after this afternoon's court hearings where the co-defendant is up for magistrates that's my understanding judge Jamel, remember, you don't speak to anyone but me or Mr. Cohn. Remember that, okay? Jamal, that includes speaking on the telephone and or any other alleged co-defendants, okay? Judge Weeks. Okay. Yeah, but they. Okay. All right. So, Mr. Demons, you're facing two counts of. Um, 
premeditated murder, and the court does find probable cause. I further make a preliminary finding of proof evident presumption great. You will be held no bond. Um, and of course, that's without prejudice uh, to have a motion based on State v. Author. The State would also ask for no contact with Cortland Henry, direct or indirect. And Judge, you, you did say without prejudice. Yes. Because that's something we'll address. I did say without to prejudice. Judge. Thank you. Jamel, we'll, we'll be there to see you, okay? Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. I, I just wanted to get that on there. That I wrote it on there thank without you, prejudice. Right. Thank you, no, Mr. We'll Pillay. And um, Ms. Bradley, are you, is the other defendant on? He is set for this afternoon, Your Honor. That was the one Mr. Bouchelle came in, and I agreed to give them 24 hours okay. to have a discussion about their side of the case. Discuss you can keep that, Your Honor. That's about the same affidavit that we're using for the other co-defendant. I have another copy as well if you want. Okay. Or if you want me to hold on to it, you let me know. Maybe you should hold on to it, because I can't give it to the clerk, so. Thank you. All right. And then I had on page seven, just